Hello and welcome to the Import Export Hub channel everybody, Bogdan here, the guy with the boring Excel files. I hope that you are all doing great and uh, guys without asking you to hit the like and the subscribe buttons, let's cut to the chase here and hear me out as this morning I've checked my one of a kind and famous um, crystal ball in order to see what products could have an export potential towards uh, Australia. Now, joke aside, guys, in the following minutes, I will uh, pass through five products that, from a personal point of view, are worth considering exporting towards uh, Australia. And we will see together uh, the main uh, trading partners. And as usual, where possible, I will try to give you the main uh, drivers from each heading. So without further ado, my first recommendation for you guys is coming from heading 8482. So ball or roller bearings. And uh, basically, uh, here we see that uh, in uh, 2021, Australia's imports amounted to some $281 million, uh, which is 5.5% uh, more than the previous year, with areas not elsewhere specified, uh, the United States and uh, China as the main uh, trading partners. But of course, we have other important uh, ones, at least in this top 10 list, uh, second tier partners, if you want, like, I don't know, India, Italy or Sweden. Relative to the trend, the 2021 saw the biggest uh, value in this 2017-2021 uh, time frame. It's a rather calm uh, trend. My guess is that this market is uh, quite mature. And uh, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, well, as I've said it earlier, it grew with 5.5% uh, in relative terms, translating to some $14.6 million more imports in absolute ones. And here, except the United States and uh, Romania, who both experienced uh, contractions with the rest of the trading partners, again, relative to this top 10 list, we have uh, positive changes. The biggest increase, uh, considering here uh, the absolute values happening in relation with India, who exported with almost uh, $2.6 million more. And uh, personally, I think uh, that uh, there is still room to grow for India in the coming years in the Australian market. Of course, by bragging, uh, grabbing sorry, business from elsewhere, like, I don't know, China, the United States or other important uh, exporters. As uh, for the main drivers, well, for uh, areas not elsewhere specified, the main subheading was 848210, so ball bearings. And uh, here, guys, it's worth mentioning the fact that under areas not elsewhere specified, there could be a number of countries as the exporter, because I don't know of commercial reasons, choose not to disclose the country of export. As for Romania, well, here most probably we have the exports coming from the roller bearings factory located in my uh, hometown Alexandria. So we have here subheading 848220. Now, guys, moving on to my second recommendation, and uh, we have here electric motors and generators, so heading 8501 which in 2021 sadly it contracted quite a lot if you ask me bringing the absolute imported value to 691 million dollars with uh, china the united states and uh, germany as the main uh, trading partners but we have other important ones in uh, this top 10 list like i don't know thailand france or brazil again just to name a couple of them China here clearly dominates with uh, almost 40% share, although it contracted a lot in uh, 2021, which uh, brings me to the year-on-year -year changes. And as I can see here, we have basically a 50-50 split between positive and negative changes. And I will highlight only the biggest ones from uh, both spectrums. So on the contraction side, we have China with the biggest one, almost uh, $59 million. While on the expanding side, we have uh, United Kingdom who exported in uh, 2021 with $6.1 million more. As for the main drivers for both the United States and Brazil, we have here subheading 850153. So AC motors, uh, multi-phase of an output greater than 75 kilowatts.
Now guys, with the second recommendation being covered, uh, I will move to my third one. It's coming from heading 8716, so trailers and semi-trailers, not mechanically propelled. And uh, I really don't know what happened in 2021, but the imports uh, grew quite, quite a lot, uh, bringing the absolute value to almost $892 million with uh, China, Germany and the United States as the main uh, trading partners. But of course, we have other ones like, I don't know, India, uh, Hungary or Mexico, again, just to name a few. China dwarfs uh, again the rest of the trading partners with its 71% uh, share and almost uh, $630 million. Uh, relative to the year-on-year -year changes, except the uh, United Kingdom, who had a 24% contraction, with the rest of the top 10 partners, we have uh, positive changes. The biggest absolute one happening in relation with uh, who else? China who exported with uh, $263 million more in uh, 2021, as it seems basically that every Australian bought a caravan during the lockdown. Otherwise, guys, I can't explain this huge uh, increase. Anyhow, in terms of uh, the main drivers for uh, China here, we have subheading 871610. So the caravans uh, or the chassis for the um, caravans that I was telling you about earlier. While from the Netherlands, the biggest import driver was subheading 871691. Oh, sorry. So parts of trailers and semi trailers. And uh, guys, with this third product being also covered, I will move to my fourth one. Bear with me. And it's coming from heading 9402. So medical, dental or veterinary furniture. And uh, guys, for I think it's the third consecutive time we have here China as the main uh, trading partner, which is followed by the United States. And on the third spot, we have here Germany with some $10 million worth of exports uh, towards Australia. Uh, this time, China doesn't dominate as much. We have just 32% uh, share. But of course, we have other important trading partners like Indonesia or uh, Poland. Again, uh, just to name a couple of them. The year-on-year -year change is uh, negative overall, so fewer imports. But we have in this top 10 list a couple of uh, countries who somehow managed to export more. And these are France, Poland, Canada and Indonesia. Although if we add up the absolute changes for these uh, four countries, I don't think uh, it passes the $2 million mark. But anyways, it's a positive uh, change, so it counts. As uh, for the main drivers, the heading is not that sophisticated. And we have for both uh, Poland and Canada subheading 940290. And uh, now, guys, with uh, this being said, let's see the last recommendation coming from my famous crystal ball. And we have here heading 9503. So tricycles, scooters and other wheeled toys for which uh, the Australian imports amounted to some $1.3 billion with uh, China, Vietnam and Indonesia as the main uh, partners. But there are other second or third tier ones like, I don't know, Germany, the Czech Republic or uh, the UK. Again, just to name a couple of them. Most probably um, the big spike here in uh, 2021 was caused also by the pandemic and the lockdown episodes in Australia, because let's face it, both children and adults uh, needed new toys. Uh, for sure 2022 or I don't know 2023 if uh, nothing nothing major happens the volumes will bounce back to the pre-pandemic levels if you ask me as for uh, the year-on-year -year changes these were up uh, some 20 percent in relative terms and uh, 226 million dollars in absolute ones and except here for uh, Thailand and uh, Denmark, who saw their exports uh, towards Australia shrunken, the rest of the top 10 ones had big volumes, with China and uh, Vietnam having the biggest uh, gain, again, considering just the absolute uh, values. As for uh, the main drivers, uh, this heading again is not that complex or sophisticated. And for both Vietnam and Denmark guys, we have a subheading 950300. 
and uh, guys with this playfulness uh, state of mind that's all for today thank you all for watching i really hope that you've liked it uh, don't forget to hit uh, those uh, tiny buttons below this video don't be shy and try to comment if you like and as usual until next time keep your baby safe thanks